Now we've got uh, our drawing base that we're tracing. We've got some walls, we've got some doors, we've got some slabs to make a 3D model. Now to view this and understand as a drawings, we're missing these things. We're missing our section markers. So if I go into the section markers, and they're not going to look like the ones that uh, you can see on my drawing, but that's fine. We're going to cut a section through. So to use this method, we want this infinite method. We're going to click, click, and then see which direction we want to look. That's cr going to create a section. Now we can create a section anywhere that we want. We don't have to just put it where I've got a section marker. I'm just doing this to make it easy. Right click, show, open section. So we want to have a look at what our model is doing. Understand how our model works. And the good thing is if we set up story as well, at any point we can go in and we can change story settings. I'm just going to add a bit of height to these just so we don't have overlapping markers, which is just a bit messy. There we go. Now we've got a slab, and it's working okay, but it's a little awkward because we've got this step happening here. I also went through a door, and if I was to move this so I wasn't going through a door but through the wall, you'd see that we've actually got a gap, which is even more concerning. So how do we make this work nicely? Let's have a look at how to create a, a footing to step down. So if I grab a, the fill tool and let's say I want to use the structural concrete fill, what I really want to do is to create a shape that represents uh, the, the shape of where my footing should be, just roughly. So I'm going to just roughly draw in using the polygonal method at the moment. And I'm going to make this 600 deep. Oops, that was not good. Hold Shift, press R, type in 600, and I'm going to go 400 back. And I could go up 450, or maybe I'll go up, in this case, just a little bit more detailed. I'll go up 300, and let's put a, a taper on this, and I'll close this shape off again. Hold Shift to make it straight. And I'm just going to add an outline so you can see what I've just done. And turn the true line weight on. All right, so it's just a bit darker. Okay, so we can see that this is the representation of our footing. Now, it's not exactly what we want to do, and I've deliberately only done this as 2D at the moment. It's just a fill. Realistically, what we want to happen here is that this footing should step down from the main slab one brick, which is 86 millimeters when we add in the mortar gap. So that's now working nicely, but the problem is that we're missing now a brick. So we've got the, the concrete footing, which is fantastic, but we're missing the brick. So how do we fix this? Let's turn off that true line weight for a second just to understand this a bit better. Now we're seeing a door behind and then we're seeing a wall. So it's a little bit confusing what these orange lines mean. So just stick with me. What, what we really want to do is to trace, to trace where the, the black line is. So we're going to copy this brick. So we're going to use the fill tool again and we're going to go to a common brick and we're going to just draw a brick up here just so we can see it and we'll move it in a second. 110. I could make it really detailed if I wanted to. 76, so it's going to be a proper brick. Close that up. So that's now hopefully looking the same as this other one. Change the, the pens if we want to. Solid line if we want to. Yep. Move this down. And I could add in, turn that true line weight off so it's not so dark. I could add in another 10 mil if I wanted to for mortar. Now I don't have mortar anywhere else, so that might look a bit silly. Um, so for now, let's just extend this up, just another 10 mil. So that's 86 mil. So we've got a piece of brick, and we've got a piece of concrete, and that's creating our footing, our drop edge beam. So we've got a step down in our slab. Now I'm going to cut this because I don't actually want it to stay just as a fill. And I'm going to go into Options, Element Attributes, Profile Manager. And in my Profile Manager, I'm going to go to New. I'm going to call this my um, J. 
just for now, let's keep it simple. Footing. And onto the page here, I'm going to paste it. Paste. Paste in current location. And ideally, I want to line up the edge of this footing with this cross and this is representing the placement so how I'm going to place it so therefore I'll be using this point to place it on the outside edge of the wall at the height of zero where the top of my slab would be if the slab continued all the way through and then I can change a lot of settings in here but I don't want to overcomplicate it at the moment so we're just going to store this profile we see that it's now adding it all we did was create a fill so it was very very simple but now when we go to our lower ground floor plan we can go into the beam setting, so that's how we're going to place this in this case. We could use different tools, but the beam is going to be the simplest. In our beam tool, we're going to go to the complex profile shape, then we're going to choose our footing. Nah, I was a bit silly. Profile manager, footing. Make sure we can use it with the beam tool. I didn't turn that on. Beam tool, complex profile, choose the footing. Where do we want to place it? We want to place it at height of zero. How do we want to place it? We want to select it on the edge. We'll see what happens in a minute. 275, so we're selecting the edge. And now when I place it, let's just choose the edge. We want to draw it around the outside edge of our wall. So let's just turn this on at the moment. Let's see if I can magic wand it or if it's not going to work. Beam tool, magic wand. It doesn't like that. Let's do it individually. Multi line tool. Let's just find out where we're placing this. Hmm, it's not liking where I'm placing it. I'll just do a little bit here, just so it's done. Continue, and we'll just go into the section and see, because it's wanting to place on a different story, effectively, which is fine with me just silly. So we see that because we use the right material, this is the, the bean that we've placed. Now it's disappeared, it's gone on to the, a different story probably. Yeah, let's place it on terrain instead of on the lower ground floor, which is just an archicad thing to be honest. Uh, so when we see it in the section, we've now got a wall, we've got a slab, and we've got a, a footing or a complex profile beam that's making this look like a proper construction detail. It's a little bit complex, but now that we've created this once, we can just copy this the whole way around. So to do this fast, I can now just draw these all on the terrain because that's where it wants to be. Pick up the settings of this. And we could just draw this all the way around. At least some of the way around for now, just to keep it fast again. So when we now look at both sides of this section marker, we see that this footing is now continuous all the way around. So we're now creating a beam for this building. So let's have a look at this in 3D. Now we don't have a, a slab yet. We don't have a, uh, sorry, we don't have a, um, a foundation. We don't have a mesh at the moment, so we can look at that a little bit later. So this is sitting on a site, but at the moment it's starting to, to look a little bit more like the project should.